Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Ron Proud Bavarian and this is of course still Imperator Rome as Rome. Now we've had a lot of fun so far with the Roman Republic and I think that fun is going to continue. What are we going to do in this episode? Well, I mean, first and foremost, let's do the most important things. Let's build some roads. That's what I live for. These roads are my bread and butter. Um, what else are we going to do? Honestly, I don't know. We have a lot of aggressive expansion accrued as well as a lot of tyranny and currently we are under Decius Julius Libo, another Julii, uh, but following up with Marcus Valerius Corvinus, one of the descendants of the fav uh, famous... Oh, oh, his name is actually Matthews, not Marcus, pardon me. Freudian slip, because the famous dude was named Marcus Valerius Corvus. Now, with those people in charge, that will be a tough situation for Rome, because they are populist and will without a doubt make it so that our power costs go up significantly. What I'm interested in, though, is where should we expand? So, historically speaking, what Rome did was they went into Iberia because Carthage was there. Why was Carthage there? Carthage was over there because of precious metals. They found so much gold in their Iberian mines that they were an absolute powerhouse. That is where a lot of the wealth of Carthage actually came from, meaning that the natural interest of Rome was to kind of cut them off of the supply and take the supply for themselves. Now, we still want to take that supply for ourselves, but we don't need to cut Carthage off from anything. Our last war against them has decimated them. We took their central power area, and you can see that if I start supporting rebels, which I will do in about five years, um, if I do that, then they will absolutely fall apart. There will be a huge rebellion, and Carthage will be wiped from the map. I, I believe they will be in, uh, wiped from the entirety of the map. I'm also going to put our commas down so that we get one more trade route so that we have two open now i don't know what we're gonna long term i would love to have a capital surplus of precious metals in rome however for the time being don't know what we're gonna import there we don't have the points right now because i spent them on something else even i can't really remember what but you know i'm sure i spent them on something so the way i see it you know i kind of want to just be okay doing whatever i'm doing and i'm just going to position these by the way in fairly random locations we have built a fort line over here. We have built a fort line over here. There are no capital forts in this version, so this is 1.0.2, which is a hotfix for 1.0.1, and makes it so that we can actually demand stuff in peace deals. And they take away a capital fort, but give you one additional building slot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually build a level 2 fort right over there. And I think we're just gonna, you know, for, the, for a couple of years, we've had a lot of war going on recently, we have an insane amount of aggressive expansion. For a couple of years, we might just enjoy peace and freedom. Oh, and a new mercenary troop just lopped up over here. Oh, Boeishia really wants our protection, giving us even money for it. Now, I don't know if I want to protect them. This game, by the way, oh, they said if you play for like two years... Oh, Sempronius died. If you play for like two years, you will have a way smoother experience than at any point beforehand. So I hope that that is indeed true, and we will see it here. Once we have the points, I'm also going to go ahead and get some trade routes. Two trade routes, to be exact. I will, by the way, keep our... Here you go. I will keep our... Um, maintenance high. Because we already have a huge stockpile of money. And I feel as though... Like, if I keep my maintenance up, it, it will always practically kind of mean that, you know... We can fight, no matter if or where anybody attacks us, we can always go in. And there he is, Matthias Valerius Corvinus. He was the censor, that is why he picked up steam and became our leader. I think we're going to put Aulus Julius Libo in here. Another Julii. So now we have uh, two Julii, as well as two Cornelii for the spots of the next leaders here. Now, will that actually occur? I'm not certain. But what I can tell you is the, the family structures here are interesting. Valerius still in power, still interesting and, you know, impactful as a family. Then you have the Julii, the Cornelii. You have the Decius. Oh, the Decii are the, uh... They were responsible, I believe. Publius Decius Mus, the original, was responsible for the Semnites getting absolutely annihilated. We have a Cornelius here, obviously. Claudii. They, you know, Appius Claudius, the original one, built the Via Appia from Rome to the south. And then the Julii, of course. So we have very, very known and historically accurate families kind of dominating our politics here, which I like. I really, and, and you know, I, I endorse that. It's it's super cool. Oh, and you're bound, so I got to get rid of this. And then I will give this back to the governor eventually, but right now don't really need him to be at the governor. I think the governor can like do his own stuff and be fine. 
Ferraria. Alright, this will cost a bit more, but I'm just going to go with the research points because conquering Carthage and changing to an oligarchic uh, republic has changed our power structure, by which I mean our research efficiency so significantly that I think it's worth it to just kind of push it up as far as you can. Now with you, I will build, because I need this fort to be easily reachable, right? I don't care about any of those provinces here, but I need to defend that fort in case barbarians come from the north. Speaking of barbarians... Ah, we exterminated these as barbarian spawns, so that is absolutely excellent. Yeah, beautiful. Just the way it should be. And what I was thinking is, right, what do we do after, and if we go into Iberia for the precious metals there to dominate... Uh, the region and get wealthy ourselves, which is right here. That's precious metal. Who would we have to face? Holy shit, that's a lot of... That's a huge coalition, man. I, I don't know. That is actually a huge coalition. Flocking to the banner. The honorable people of Transpan uh, Transpadana have returned uh, turned out in droves to see the renowned general, Gneus Decius, leading his troops on the way to greater glories. A delegation from Eporadia have requested the honor of sending a number of their young men to join the arm of Gneus, citing their virtual fanaticism as a great boon during warfare. So that is Gneus Decius. He is a member of the religious faction, also very dedicated to that religious faction. Uh, he is extraordinarily loyal, so... You know what? Sign them up. I don't see why we wouldn't sign them up, and they don't even appear to be all that terrible. Mostly light, but also one uh, heavy unit, so I'm okay with it. Long term, we of course, we'll have to get rid of it, but not right now. I think it's fine. Right, once this dude crosses over, I'm gonna give him back to the... Well, actually, maybe I shouldn't give him back to the... This is a good question, isn't it? So we got some advances there, whatever, dude. Who cares, right? But I'm thinking, because now he's in a different region, and he's gonna cross over into that region anyway, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you to this region, and then this man is gonna become part of this region. So it's a bit like an exchange, I would say. Lazio, okay. Why don't you continue doing your thing? I appreciate it a great deal. More than you would ever know. As you know, I love building roads, and I love building an actual thorough empire. Um, remind you that Carthage will fall as soon as we end our peace deal with them. I will not even attack them. I just want to topple them by virtue of spending money to get them out of here. Alright, you are done, but you're already assigned, so that's okay. You will be done in a second here. You want to go down here, then connect these, and then go through... Nope, no, 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 ah, doesn't matter. There you go. Um, I'm going to pick up the discipline, 100%. My dude, discipline is so, so good. And, ah, I just, I'm an idiot. I picked it up. Not thinking. Feast for Lucius. The residents of Rukuma are holding a celebration in honor of their much-loved governor, Lucius Julius Libo, renowned for his beneficence, tolerance, and common sense. He's the governor of Africa. It is nice to see our approved candidates validated in such a way. On with the celebration. Absolutely. Cornelius now up for inheriting this. I'm I'm psyched. I want to see where this goes. The Republic, you know, after a bit of a time frame here where the entire Republic was practically just dominated by, you know, one single family. We're now at a, at a, at a kind of turning point. The Republican winds blow once more through all of the Roman realm. And with that being the case, of course, everybody benefits from it. And I love building roads. It's so nice. And speaking of roads, we still have to, and I'm going to do it with you, actually. Still have to build some roads over there. And it's interesting that he just skips over this. Like, it doesn't even... I don't want to build roads here, though. That's too many roads. I know, I know. Theoretically, I could build roads in every single... Oh, yeah, Dekius. In every single province or city. But I just really don't want to do that. So how much does it cost me? And what could I even get? We could get some hemp. Could I get two hemp? Absolutely. From my own regions, even. Surplus in the capital makes our boats... Ah, uh, boats. Nothing wrong with those being better, you know. Hmm... Currently have those. Honestly, nothing too significant. Nothing that I'm seeing where I'm like, I want this. I really want the uh, precious metal, though. Look at this. Uh, precious metal, each surplus in province, city pro uh, province loyalty, who gives a shit, but surplus in the capital, citizen promotion cost. Minus 10%, as well as making the citizens in Rome itself even happier. It is a huge positive if you really care for those numbers, which I do. You may be aware of this. Alright, um, we're gonna go just south over here, I think. 
And then one wrote, yeah, this looks okay. You in the meantime, Lucius falls ill. Lucius Cornelius skip you. Oh, he's the He's the one that should be the next consul. Interesting. Gained an in inflammation. You know what? I wanna aid you to seek some treatment. My dear friend. I don't I don't think that we're actually gonna push for anything here. I would much rather just kinda take a look at it, right? Speaking of taking a look, should we change any laws? Monthly wages? I don't really care for any of those. Like, looking at it, right? Do you care for any of those? Maybe this one again? But it's not that significant. Call omen cost goes down. Monthly tyranny goes down quicker. That is huge. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the Lex Aelia et Fuvia. A niche but important law, the Lex Aelia et Fufia put an end to the practice of unfavorable omens ending political discussion. This limited the power of those responsible for taking the omens, allowing for more equal political discourse. Sure. Let's do it, boys. What else we got? We got a grain merchant exemptions, national population growth, manpower recovery speed. Uh, I think that is actually like such a good law. I really like it. What else we got? We got citizenship laws. Wrong culture, happiness, very, very significant indeed. Yeah, I think we want to keep it that way. I wouldn't know why I would change it. And <laughs> we could even change to this now again. I'm not going to do that. Don't even think about it. No, I think we're good. All right, with all that being said then, might as well take a look at the roads. We are only two years away. In two years, we will be able to do what must be done when it comes to supporting... The enemies of Carthage. Trade hub developing. The little known city of Narona has been gathering quite a reputation as a hub of free trade. People from all origins are beginning to flock here in order to sell their wares in our land. Whilst this is clearly to, uh, of benefit to us, we should consider how best to maximize our advantage. Narona. Where you at, bro? Ah, look at this. This is a trade up. This makes a lot of sense. What do we already have in the city? We have uh, mostly freemen. I'm going to take the freemen then. Build a uh, freemen center right there. And what I would also love to do, and I didn't even talk about it earlier, uh, but I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna put them into an existing, he got healed, into an existing fleet. We're gonna build a shitload of ships. And then I'm just gonna put all of them on automatic, right? There you go. Build them, boys. We're gonna put all of those on automatic and then never ever worry about it again. We're going to be the leaders of the pack and look at this, it's just outrageous. Look at these ships, man, I love that. That is beautiful. The way they come out, that's just absolutely cute. Um, what else should we go for you? Hmm. It costs more because we... Nope, not this. I meant this one. It costs more because we have a populist in power, but I think it's fine. Transpadana. Matthews the Cruel, oh. Matthews Valerius Corvinus, a very mediocre ruler. Not awful, not great. It is what it is, I guess, is, uh... And look at this. Look at how quick... Did you see how quick we doubled that fleet's navy? How much do our ships, uh, ships cost at the moment? Not that much. We can afford it here, for sure. Alright, let's build those. Let's bring the other navy. I swear to god, we had a different navy, right? Yeah, up there. Let's bring him all over here. Let's have him very, very centralized. Then we're gonna split that fleet later on. I don't know where to intervene yet. I mostly want to just kind of take a look at, at... I want to make this the episode where we just look at Carthage and laugh about it. You know what I mean? I want to absolutely see them splinter without me moving a single finger. That's the dream, brothers. That is the dream. We currently have uh, a stunning 181 ships. <laughs> absolutely insane, man. We're also gathering a decent amount of uh, manpower, which I'm a huge fan of. Because then we will actually be in a position to properly go to war. And I feel as though I will unite you and then build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I hope that I actually did that right. If we have 200 ships, I'm going to split them all into 50 stacks each. And that'll be it. Then we will be the rulers of the sea forever and ever. I mean, look at everyone else. They, they barely have anything. It's already 
way too big for a fleet, I would argue. But at the same time, you gotta have it, right? If you don't have it, why are you even here? Imagine not building a gigantic fleet. I'm excited long term for the wonderful... I'm gonna go with the loyalty here. With a wonderful impact that the free... Ah, I accidentally gave away the cloth. Well, whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. You know what I'm also wanna do? I wanna build a lot of marketplaces. Wait, show me. Show me what we have here. Because this entire province, right, is primarily now research for citizens. Meaning that we don't need any of these training camps. It's very, very loud to do this. I shall do it nonetheless, for I fear nothing. Alright, let's build some training, uh, some marketplaces here. I don't even know, I don't think these were... Yeah, these weren't even part of it. <laughs> well, they are now, there you go. Alright, so far so good. Our tyranny and our aggressive expansion going down so quickly as well. Blah, 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 that's okay. And we have now Cornelius Scipio as our leader. All of a sudden, a Scipio has returned, and with him, of course, the mercantile faction now in power of our government. And the next one will be another Cornelius. Where is Servius Julius Libo? Oh, he's second. He's second in line. Oh, and oh, let's do it, boys. I'm ready. What? It's zero? I will support rebels, and you cannot stop me. Why is this not working? Why was it zero? What is happening here? Is it because they are at war? Hmm. Did I miss my one moment of greatness in this game? Are you kidding me? Are you taking this away from me? Game, please. Do not take this away from me. Um, let's take another research point here. I think that's the, the best option we have. I wish I could just auto accept, I'll be honest with you. Hmm. Don't like it. We'll admit it. Don't like it one bit. Um, anyway, the navy is done, meaning that I will split the navy. Split it again. And then find the 100 stack. There you are. Uh, then I'm just going to park all of you here and give you different... Or maybe I'm going to give you just independent operations. Local tensions, support Roman. I will always support Roman interests. Are you crazy? Why wouldn't I? How are you doing? Ooh, another civil war looming over here. They already had one. Ah, the thing is, it's just like they all have these tribal troops, right? So you have a total of like 80k against you. It's a huge effort to get rid of these barbarians to a, to a reasonable degree. Do I actually have to go and beat Carthage up? That can't be it, right? Uh, what I am going to do, I'm going to free you... The original troops here of our old Servius. I'm going to free them. And you might lose some loyalty here again now that you've been pushed out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There you go. Should I hand you over to the commander? Servius already has an army, doesn't he? Ooh, look at... Ooh, look at all of these. What the hell? Where do all of these amazing generals come from? Well, you know what you know what that means. I mean, what do you want me to say? Neus Dacius, it's time. Move aside. It's time for the new generation, brother. Right. Servius Julius Libo lost all of his hair. That's unfortunate for him. He's gonna remain in command because he already was the leader. You're gonna lose it though. In favor of Publius. I think we're just gonna declare war then. I, I'm not sure yet on who exactly. And I'm, I know it sounds very stupid when I say it like that, but I just don't know. It's so strange. What's even going on anymore? You're going to finish this road first and foremost, okay? Sure. And then all of them now are doing things. The rest are provincial armies, which is very, very nice. Are we just going to beat up? Carthage? I thought I could just watch them fall, but why are they at 0% now? Oh! Wait, what? I thought this might be the... because... am I confused here? Oh no, it's against Cyrenaica and Atpalem. Those fellas. <laughs> that, that is definitely not a rebellion. I suspect that this war made the rebellion go away. Oh, research points. Baby, you don't even know it. How are we doing in Romanization, by the way? We're doing quite well over here and here, but that's about it, by the looks of it. So the way I see it, I kind of want to go around, right? 
I don't want to go around. I either want to wage war for this right over here, right? And it's it's just like maybe we should go for Oritania first. They have nobody. We're gonna go for Oritania. Yeah, one hundred percent. And you know what? Get the fucking legions ready, boys. I'm I am ready as can be. We're gonna take a lot of attrition here on the sea, but I think that's perfectly fine. Fabricate a claim. I will land in Iberia, no matter what the cost. I will get it all done, primarily because Orpita Agulnius, this dude is amazing. The Agulnius family, how are they producing these people that are so good? What we are going to do will be the greatest feat of all Romans, by which I mean I will take like maybe four legions. I don't want to take all of them, but I want to take a decent amount of legions, right? And then we go beat them up. Sure, whatever, dude. I'd say four legions. Four legions gotta be enough, right? How many how many enemies can we face? I mean not be ridiculous here. This is a crazy amount of troops, all things considered, in my opinion at least. But how are you doing in terms of loyalty? Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is such a nonsense governorship here in Africa. Oh no, sorry, I thought actually I was mistaken there. I thought it was two different regions, but it's just one region. But different provinces. All right, Oretania, I am coming for you, and I think their issue is that they are in a way better spot, all things considered. Like they are uh, in uh, regional power, I assume. So that means they can't have any allies amongst their similar, uh, their their other fellows. The Heraclean path, we've had that a hundred times. It's time, boys. I am in. Take Mastiania. Maybe I sent too many legions. Oh, they have 76 legions? Are you out of your mind? What? I think they are out of their mind. Oh my god. A child is born, that's okay, dude. Don't worry about it. We got other worries than a child being born. Let me tell you. All right, so we've taken the ports. Meaning that I would probably bring in... You know what, I'm gonna hire some local mercs here. Do I really wanna hire those? You know, I'm looking at it, right? And I'm like, do I really, like, really hire those? I think we go in here. We gotta assault them, otherwise they may come around and try to destroy us. Destroy them where they stand. Oh, maybe. I'm gonna give it my all. Sometimes you gotta go in, boys. I'm ready. How's Carthage doing? Oh, there we go, boys. Oh, I am so ready. This is it. This is it, brother. Oh, really? Hmm. But this is it. And I think the next war that we're going to have against Carthage will be for Iberia. It's the way I see it. Oh, this is going to be a really, really tough one, man. I don't know. Nope, they just stopped walking. And we arrived really asyn asynchronically, so that, you know, like, there was a decent stack that had to fight all on its own. But once we arrived, let me tell you, we demolished them. Now they're just running like this, huh? Which means that I can go around again. Don't need to worry about those. I want to beat up these. That's important. There you go. Got him. Dab. Can I already ask for this? Oh, that's nice. You know what? I don't want to go deeper. I just... So, look. I know a lot of people are always like, you gotta take everything, bro. But the... Wait, actually, actually, let me... Let me think again. Oh, look at this. It's the precious metal... Wonderful reality that I want to be living in. No, 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 no. Dude, I'm, I'm taking the attrition to the face. You think I care? Have you ever seen me care? Have you watched any of my videos? Probably not. I'm not watching them either. You know what? I'm even going to rec recruit you just for the record. I can pay for them, yeah. Okay. Going to recruit you just for the record. Don't you get any ideas, brother. Oh, really? Are they actually coming here? Fuck. Are we going to get wiped? Oh, we are. Lol. Alright, that's fine. Not fair, but fine. I understand it. I don't want to take everything as a thing. I primarily care for the resources here, right? 
yeah, this is everything, you know? Like, that's the thing, I don't really... Then again, they actually hold Oritania proper, don't they? There's a fort down there. They have 85 divisions right now. You are so hurt! Decius, Fulvius, Pytinus, what did you do? Hmm... I feel like... Look, some of you are gonna be mad about this, but I'm not gonna dig too deep. I'm gonna take exactly what I have right now. I'm going to take exactly what I have right now. I can't make them a subject because for some reason the game doesn't allow it. That's okay though. Uh, could I release some nations? Absolutely not. Okay, well. And I don't know, I kind of want to take everything. <laughs> nah, dude, you know what? Fuck it. More important things will come. And that is Carthage. If we just take this and then push Carthage out, all of the important parts of Iberia will be ours. We have taken everything that is related to the metal. To the metal that I care so dearly about. And there you go. I'm going to send you to good old Latium twice. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Dude, have you seen this? Now we have this here, which makes it so that citizen promotion cost goes down, local citizen happiness goes up. Everybody's happy. It, I mean, we probably already were happy, but look. Precious metal. That's that's what I'm talking about. And you know what? I want to get rid of you if, if I can. You know what I want to do next? You know what I want to do next, don't you? Don't you wish that you knew what I wanted to do next? Funius, that's a new dynasty. New house. Where can you stand? Over there. He's just like looking at the mountains. He's like, what? Oh, look at this. This is what I'm here for. This is what I'm here for. At 26 minutes in, I'm just gonna... Oh, the Seleucids actually ended their civil war? Oh, they're fairly well intact. And he's blind. And he's Zoroastrian. Things surely changed. And l would you look at Cappadocia? What? Dude. That's just outrageous. What are the policies over here, by the way? Conversion, encourage trade, that's okay. Don't really want the encourage trade though, I'll be honest with you. I would rather take cultural assimilation. They're already being disloyal, so you might as well. Who are you? Get out of here. I want uh, one good old Velitus. Thank you very much. So yeah, I'm just going to let the game run right now. We could, of course, immediately attack Carthage, but you know how I play these games. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That should be enough. You know how I play these games. All I want to do, I want to see the world do its own thing. And how could I do this better than watch Carthage die? And that's exactly what is about to happen. In just two years, we're going to see an imploding Carthage. And I mean, that is the point. I believe at least, where we should get involved. That is the point where we realize we have to just intervene and destroy whoever stands in our way. I'm gonna build some individual roads here, by the way, I think. Maybe. Um, I just want to bring in these 19k down here so that we can spread out from down there. Oh, I'm excited, though. Hellenistic... Oh, what is that? The Revolt of Phrygia. Mm, makes you think, doesn't it? Macedon, in the meantime, is still blobbing. I think we're going to put down Carthage one more time, and then it is Carthage time. Uh, yeah, no, the other way. We're going to put down Carthage, and then it is Macedon time. All right, I need you to do your thing. Thank you very much. I will bring you down here. And then you can continue. You know, like, this road project in Sicily takes as long as a real infrastructure project in the European Union. It takes like three generations. Ah, oh, you're taking attrition again, huh? Hmm. What do we do about that? Could get something to make attrition less severe. Was that vegetables? Yeah. Can't even do it though. Hmm. But it's not that big an attrition, right? Yeah, we're still... Jesus, we're making so much in manpower. Can you go down there? Yeah. Quintus Fabius Burgus has passed away. Oh, he's old. Ah, eh. I'm gonna give it to him. He's old, but he earned it. You know, it's, it's like a position that he definitely earned. Calling in favors. Appius Claudius has approached. Right. Sure. Do it. Who is going to inherit us one way or another? Tertius Julius. So after all, it is Tertius Julius. And by the way, I didn't even look out. 
not too late yet. Who should we hold Triumph for? Who's the least loyal? That's kind of my... <laughs> 83. 92. 83. I think it's going to be you. Good old Publius and Pronius Sophos. Sure. You earned it, brother. Maybe you're going to inherit soon. Should put him on the car uh, on the map. Doesn't look like it has so far, but Lucas Cornelius Scipio now has a kid. Oh, supply limit, baby. That's what I'm here for. So, car. Oh. What? Excuse you? Carthage, please. Don't do me dirty like this. You know what? In the next episode, I'm going to beat the crap out of Carthage for denying me the opportunity of watching them fall, okay? I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good one and see you later, alligator.